I need you all to understand that I am not the first one that Paul has done this to. I'm just the first one to actually file a lawsuit and get his ass locked up. Yes, there is two parts to this. So while we're waiting to get a price quote for all of the external damage that my lawyer needs for this lawsuit, I want to show you guys a Facebook post that I posted yesterday of all of the people that this guy has screwed with. There's 40, 50, maybe even 60 people that have had an issue with this guy. Tomorrow, we're gonna be going up to my mechanic's place because he had my car a few days before Paul ended up taking it because we need to get a price quote for all the engine damage and that kind of stuff for the lawsuit as well. Keep in mind, there's two parts to this. I want you guys to keep in mind that the people that you're seeing that have been screwed by this guy on screen are just my personal friends. So of course there's gonna be tons of other people out there. For privacy reasons, I'm not going to be showing their actual names and I will cross them out. And you know what, Paul? I know that you're watching this, so unfortunately for you, YouTube is my job. I'm required to keep track of everything. You know the notepad that you were too dumb to look in, that was my mileage. So explain the 500 plus extra miles on my car right now. You know the $1,520 receipt that you gave me to wrap my car? I also have that. So why isn't my car wrapped? You know that $400 that you asked for on Facebook and I sent you? I have proof and receipts for that as well. Remember the phone call that you admitted everything on with your permission to record you. That was not a vlog video. That was me getting proof. Yo, what is going on, bro? Oh, uh, right on. You don't mind me putting you on speakerphone to introduce you to the YouTube, do ya? All right, that I already have, but coming straight from your mouth. You straight up told my lawyer that you owe me all of this money, you proved the excuses, and you proved everything that I already have straight from your mouth. All of those text messages, I have every single one of them from the start. All those Facebook messages BSing me, guess what? I have every single one of those as well from the very beginning. Where's my tires that you said you had already put on my car and you were going to get a wheel alignment because of putting them on my car? Where is that window tint that you said was on my car? Why isn't the back of my car wrapped like you said. I bet you forgot about all of that shit. But guess what? I still have all of the DMs and all of the text messages that you have sent me from the very beginning of all of this. So now for the part where you get locked up. Remember at the start how I said there was two parts to this? There is. The first one is a lawsuit for me suing your ass for the $1,520 that I paid you which I do in fact have proof of, the $400 that I paid you through Facebook, again, which I do have proof of, all of the damage you did to the exterior of my car, which I'm getting proof of, and have previous proof of, because dip shit, YouTube is my job. Of course I have proof of what my car looked like before you took it. And then tomorrow, more proof. More proof, because my mechanic saw my car a few days before you took it. A few days before you took it, Paul. And he's going to get a price quote for all the fucking damage that you did under the hood. That's the lawsuit. The part you get locked up is for stealing all my shit, you idiot. All right, boys, so now that we got our price quote, for all the exterior damage. Yes, you saw that correctly. $3,136.40, Paul. Cents? 
we have gone over the mileage that I keep track of every single time I drive my car. Since we've gone over that, since we've gone over the $1,520 receipt that you gave me, since we've gone over the Facebook payments that I have proof of as well. Now, let's go over the proof of you stealing my shit. You know those spacers that were in my car? Where are they? You know those camber bolts that were in my car? Where are they? You know that USB drive with my music on it? Where is it? You know that $12 worth of quarters in my car? The fuck is it? Yeah, $12 worth of quarters. Who keeps $12 worth of quarters? You gotta keep in mind, brother, I'm documenting my life. That footage you see when I go to the car wash is done twice. So I have to pay for a car wash twice. So yes, $12 worth of quarters for one piece of footage. Yeah. Where is all that? That's the stuff that gets you locked up. And you know what the crazy thing is? The craziest part about that is I made a video. <laughs> funny, right? Isn't that so funny, man? I made a video with you. Oh, do you remember asking me what those were for? Yeah. You took the car away with them, Paul. You took the car away with them. They're not here. They're not here, Paul. My USB drive, it's not here, Paul. Where is it? That's theft, you idiot. Oh, and best of all, Paul, you know how you stole my car for an entire month? You know how you were drinking and driving in my car for an entire month? You know how you were smoking in my car for an entire month? I have proof of all of that, you fucking idiot. And you know what, man? I think we already took care of getting that price quote of three thousand fucking dollars worth of damage just the exterior bro and you know what the crazy thing about all of this is paul i actually have friends that live in manchester yes hard to believe right i have friends willing to testify they saw you driving around in my car they saw my car parked on the side of the road in downtown and while I'm walking into my place to edit this video, you chose the worst fucking person to do this to. Your days of fucking not only me, but every other fucking person in New England. Your days of fucking all of us are done, Paul.